Okay, let's move on to our hi-hat cymbals. I've got it set as a PCY1. The gain is set at 63 and the curve is at 3. Level is 20% to 100%. The velocity 27 to 127. Self rejection 20 milliseconds. Rejection is 1 and the specific rejection is turned off. That's again, that's a factory setting. Okay, now let's talk about the ride symbol just a minute. The ride symbol was extremely difficult. The settings on it are very similar to all the other symbols, um, but I had to work with it quite a bit to get the bell and the bow to work properly. The problem that I was having was that the bow would choke itself out as I would play it. So I did have to increase several of the settings and it was a, a real headache to get it going, but we've got it going. So hopefully these settings will help a lot of you guys out that have emailed us. So let's take a look at the ride symbol. Okay, notice I've got it set to PCY1 type. The gain is all the way up at 63. The curve is two on this. The level is 50%. That keeps the symbol from choking itself out to 100 and the velocity is 30 to 127. Now look at the milliseconds on this. This is turned up to 60 milliseconds with a rejection of 1 and uh, again the specific rejection is factory setting and the increase in milliseconds helped out considerably keeping it from choking itself. You can turn that down just a little bit if you're doing a lot of patterns and it's not picking up but the lower you get with that self-rejection, the more you'll start to notice that the symbol will choke itself out. Okay, let's look at our dual zone crash. Okay, the type is a PCY2. Gain is 32. Curve is 3. The level is 50 to 100%. Again, it's set high because this symbol also wanted to choke itself out and increasing those levels helped it to perform properly. The velocity is 24 to 127. The self-rejection again, 60 milliseconds, rejection one, and then the specific input or specific rejection is back to the factory standard. And then I also have just a single zone 10 inch splash on here. The single zone symbols are set to PCY1. The gain on this one's 32 with a velocity curve of 3. The level is again at 50 to 100. Velocity 24 to 127. Self-rejection 60 milliseconds. Rejection 1. Specific rejection is 3 from input 5. Again, that's going to be a factory setting. That's a setting that I did not need to mess with. Make sure before you do anything with your module, turning it off or switching back to play mode, make sure that you save any of the settings that you've changed. To do that, you're going to press the store button and then it's going to ask you which kit to store it in. You'll select which area you want to store it, what kit number. Uh, this shows user kit one. And then you're going to press enter slash yes once then it's going to ask you are you sure and if you're sure you want to save those changes at that spot you just hit yes well guys that wraps it up for the settings for the dt extreme 2s module if you have any questions please join us online on the pentech forum you can access it through pentech's main website pentechworld.com now remember these are just some general settings to get you started so you may have to fine tune your drums. But if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Until then, take care and keep drumming.